Hey guys, Absolute Boris here. How are you? Crazy day, busy day, so good today. Uh, I'd like to say more than I'm going to right now. Maybe this evening I will say more. I have to go to a funeral here in a minute for a, a long standing resident of Long Island, community here in Kingsport, uh, Pastor Jake Reiner, JC Reiner. I went to school with uh, his daughter Donna. And uh, I want to go down and pay my respects to Mr. Ryan there at 6 o'clock at Hamlet Dobson. Okay, so I went to Food City earlier, and uh, everybody's handing me the buttons. Okay. Buttons. Okay, let's see. Let try to change this here. But, uh, there we go. All right. So, this is at Food City. How does this affect the area? Okay. What I've been saying uh, most of the time, I hope all the time, is no on all four of the amendments. This is one of the amendments. Now this work in Virginia, um, but I got to thinking about this while I'm in the food city. Um, the mom and pop shop across the street that sell the liquor, that sell the wine, will be hugely affected by food city, uh, by Walmart being able to carry these things in their store. So that being said, I'm gonna say vote no on the wine. For that reason, because the mom and pop shop cannot compete with the bigger store that way, so it only does a disservice to the community. They say, well, Food City is locally owned. Is it? They're based in Abingdon, and there are over 105 stores. So tell me if it's locally owned or not. Big corporation. Sorry, Steve Smith. But uh, your last great employee in my eyes was Mr. Ed Moore. So, yeah, I say it. Freedom of speech that way. I love America for that reason. So... This here, you won't catch me wearing that. I'm sorry. Uh, the big, it's a big button too. Look, color like a whole eye patch. <laughs> so, you know, people don't have the courtesy. They don't slow down. They don't go the speed limit uh, compared to other places that way. So why give them more? Yeah, if you look at wine and alcohol content, uh, you're more likely to get drunk on the wine than the beer. And uh, casual drinkers oftentimes do drink the wine. You know, if you're going to drink. Do it responsibly, drink it with a meal that way, um, but I'm perfectly fine with the mom and pop shop that way. I'm not going to say uh, vote for the wine this time. Sorry. No on all four. Okay. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Uh, what, what's the other three? Okay, well, you really want to know? Okay. You don't mess with a woman's decision to get an abortion. She's already thought about it once she gets the abortion. Why send her away to think about it for counseling again? That baby gets older. Uh, she made the decision. Uh, don't mess with a woman's body and a woman's choice. Okay, no. Okay, and the judges uh, should not be appointed by the governor. That's a bunch of crap. And what they do, and they get someone in there they don't want, and uh, the the governor changes. Uh, I remember when they went from the McWhorter to Sunquist, uh, they got rid of the, the the best judge in Tennessee. They target her, and uh, she was our only chance to sit a Tennessean on the, the Supreme Court, federal. So anyway, politics that way. So no, the governor should not be able to control the judges. They should be voted for by the people. Period. And uh, the other, I don't even remember what it is, but it's no. Okay. God bless you. Thanks for tuning in. See you.